Hello everybody, I'm Sunny from Pluto and welcome to another Pick a Crystal reading. I know it's been a while, there's been a lot going on, but we're going to get back on track and I don't want to miss any more Pick a Crystal readings because I've been reading all of your comments and seeing some messages that a lot of you have been sending and that I know that you guys really appreciate this content and I really like making it. It's just been a rough time and now we're in Scorpio season which is my season my solar return is coming up as well as Meg's as you all know and so yeah happy Scorpio season happy Halloween blessings for Samhain and yeah sending love to all of you transformational love transformational magic things have been heavy so I'm not surprised if during this Scorpio season things start getting even heavier. So uh, when I was thinking about how I'm going to make a comeback during this Scorpio season, I was thinking about maybe doing a reading that might be a little bit of a heavier topic. So the topic of this video will be what are your fears? How can you face them? And how can you integrate and move forward from them so that they no longer hold you back? And I was ruminating with this idea for a while. Um, I've been planning this out for a while and little did I know that I would be kind of living this out. Uh, I've definitely faced or have been facing or been forced to face my fears this whole year. Um, but I've still been feeding quite a few distractions and not really taking responsibility for the things that I need to face and this week has been really rough and I just want to let you all know that I am here for you all because I know that we're all going through a really hard time right now and to not be afraid to reach out to people to ask for help or to just show you know your vulnerabilities and your true raw emotion and know that there are people who love you and that care about you and want to see you you know thrive and the world needs you and your unique voice and gifts and that's something that i was afraid of at one point was reaching out to people and asking for help and showing my vulnerabilities um, because i was so used to trying to protect myself i was and it was like a survival mode for me was to just be by myself and, and feel everything and go through it by myself. And I'm learning now that that's, <laughs> that's not working for me and that's not taking me to the next phase in life. So that's been a big fear along with many other fears that I won't get into right now. But um, we are going to be diving into your fears and finding some solutions for you. And before we get into it fully, uh, by the time you're watching this video, my new collection, my new Crystal Juju collection is live at thescorplingshop.com. It is the Magic Juju Shroom Collection. If you can see, we have quite a few different mushrooms, little Crystal Juju mushrooms that were, they're really fun to make. So I'm glad to offer these to you. And if you ever see anything that's been sold out or if you're interested in any juju at all and you want maybe a custom one, custom orders are always open. I work with a lot of you guys over private messages or email to figure out what's best for you, what's in your budget and what I can create for you. And I love doing that. So thank you. Uh, the jujus have been sold out for a while. <laughs> which is not a bad problem to have. So I'm really happy about that because it's one of the things I'm most passionate about. And I'm really excited to bring these seasonal juju to you. It's mushroom foraging season. So enjoy the magic juju shrooms. Really feel into this Scorpio season. That could be a fear too for some of us is really feeling what we need to feel because sometimes it's so painful that it's scary that we don't even want to go there. So sometimes, although it's so hard and I know being on earth is really hard because we're learning so many tough lessons and it's so dense, um, we need to go through the pain to get to the other side and it's rough and some of us feel 
more pain or are in pain more than others but it doesn't diminish anyone's experience because we all are different and we all feel things differently i don't know i just want to acknowledge that there's a lot of suffering on the planet right now and even though someone's suffering may seem more or less than yours it doesn't remove the fact that they are suffering and there's a lot of illness and there's a lot of evil and there's a lot of heaviness and illusions and programs that have taken us away from our natural selves and it's up to us to consciously make a choice to see that and and to grow and to overcome that and to go back to who we truly are uh, our true nature and to embrace and support um, other people and their true nature and I just feel like there's like a huge I don't know if the word is divide but there's this huge imbalance between the masculine divine masculine energy and divine feminine energy and a lot of us are finding it hard to be either in their divine feminine or their divine masculine or to show up in that role because so many things have been so diluted and perverted and um it's hard it's hard if you like i was thinking about this this morning if you look at the higher aspects of all of this like some people we've been so corrupted that we can't even live out and fill out like our natural purpose as a man or a woman so deep down everybody is suffering and again like i said it's up to us to make the conscious choice to grow and expand and move forward but it's not that easy and it's difficult and you know when opportunities are presented to you just really try to be present with that and if there's any triggers or any uh, projections or any mirror images that you can see try not to avoid it because you know Scorpio season especially is all about facing your shadows and just because we have shadows doesn't mean that we're bad um, it's actually just an opportunity to make peace with it and to let it guide you to a lighter version of yourself so I mean I know all about that I have so much Scorpio on my chart my whole life has been about shedding and you know secrets and shadows being revealed and mysteries being solved and like being a detective and just like seeing the depths of sickness really and toxicity that there is in every human and on the planet and to just constantly be shedding and releasing that so that I can find the light and be the phoenix. So that's basically, I feel like, what we're going through as a collective. And as my generation, the Pluto and Scorpio generation, you know, they get older and they're becoming the more prominent figures in society. Like, that, I feel like that's a big part. Like, we're all expressing that, like, huge transformation and, you know bringing to light the truth of what intimacy really is and you know letting go of all and and eradicating and like exposing all of the the lies and the sickness and getting to the truth of our souls and finding that deep connection with one another i feel like that's what we're playing out here on the planet right now although pluto isn't in scorpio there's a lot of people who have pluto in scorpio that are alive right now and I feel like a lot of that is being acted out on the planet. I'm here to be a way shower. I'm sure many of you are here to be way shower. So let's do the hard work. Let us face our fears and let us integrate them and move forward so that we can anchor the light and be the light and stop dwelling in old patterns that are going to keep us stuck where you know, we're, we're never going to feel fulfilled or happy. So that's my little rant. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that resonates with you. And now let's get into the reading. Okay, everyone, we have four groups to choose from going this way. <laughs> so we have group number one, which is this silver Donald J. Trump coin, along with the Moldavite Tectite Crystal. Group number two will be this Pyrite. 
along with this saffrodite tektite group number three will be this garnet along with the copper bison coin And group number four will be the black tourmaline along with the silver jack-o'-lantern. So take your time in choosing the group that calls to you most. Use your intuition. You can also use a random number generator and the timestamps will be pinned in the description and the comments below. I'll see you at your readings. Okay, group number one, if you chose the Trump coin, the silver Trump coin, genuine silver and the Moldavite, this is your reading all about how you can face your fears, what your fears might be, maybe you don't really quite know yet, how you can integrate them and the solutions that we can find for you. To move forward now just with the silver coin and the moldavite alone because trump is such a controversial figure um and it's going to be decided soon if he will be the president of the united states um along with the moldavite which is a very intense uh tektite from space the these are both symbols of change and transformation and making big decisions and moving on to a completely new next phase in life so things coming to an end and something completely new starting and um yeah so uh, there could be a fear based around making a tough decision or choosing a new direction in life or something completely new coming and disrupting on how, where, where will you have the strength to navigate through those changes? I wanted to say something else and I am forgetting. Oh yeah, also Donald Trump was born on an eclipse, which kind of resonates with the energy of, well, change, but also with the energy of Moldavite, which is all about change and trans transformation. Scorpio season is all about change and transformation. And there's a lot going on. So some heavy decision making some new ways forward, some way, a way of living that you haven't quite started yet or, or you're just in the midst of. And uh, yes, so coming head to head, maybe even some dramatic things are coming up or will be coming up or dramatic things, yeah, will be coming up because of a fear that needs to be faced. Conflict can be a fear for some people, um, but sometimes it's necessary to, you know, have or initiate certain conversations. And if it becomes a conflicted conversation, that doesn't make it something bad or something that you should avoid because there's things that need to come to the surface that need to be talked about so that we can transmute, transform and change the energy. So, yes, just from those two things alone, there's a lot of change and uh, serious heavy decision making and you might not always be or or seem even though your intentions are pure and uh you have the right idea and there's no ill intent in your heart and you actually care for you know the cause that you stand for and other people and yourself and you're just trying to you know show your true colors and stand firm in who you are, uh, sometimes, unfortunately, that will make you look like the bad guy amongst people who aren't able to handle that type of power or, yeah, the power that you're carrying. So I want to start with an archetype card here. And we have the thief. So this is where you are coming from right now or something that you're afraid of um being this is either something that you're avoiding something that you're afraid of being or where you're coming from right now so it is the thief and it's seizing the moment and selfishness so 
Huh. That's interesting. So a fear, it could doesn't necessarily mean that you are selfish, but it could be a fear that other people perceive you as selfish because of the tough uh, decisions that you need to make and the, the tough calls that you need to make. Maybe you're in a power position. Um, but I also feel if you did choose this pile, you're, you are an intense person and you feel the energy and you read the energy uh, quite clearly of what's going on. So it's like you make your decisions quickly and sometimes that can make you look like not the nicest person. And I want to get deeper into this because we're looking at what are your fears how you can face your fears and okay yeah so that's another uh another avenue is like by facing your fears don't be afraid okay let's let's go uh down that angle don't be afraid to seize the moment or to seem selfish okay if you see that something needs to be that something needs uh to be taken action on you you need to do it and um if there's an opportunity and there's uh it's open to many people and other people aren't you know, seizing the day, then it is your, it's open to you. It's your right to go for it. If you feel like you can fulfill the mission and, um, don't be afraid of making big decisions. I think that's what it, what, what it comes down to is don't be afraid of making big decisions and looking like something that, you know, truly deep inside that you're not, this could also be, uh, the, opposite of this could be because you're so strong like this it could be not allowing or or not seeing that other people deserve the same uh, amount of opportunity or not even giving someone a chance so just doing everything yourself um, not giving other people chances not reaching out to people or giving opportunities to other people and just kind of taking every opportunity for yourself and being in the spotlight constantly that could be like the shadow side of this okay so I want to go further by looking at your tarot cards like what is this fear okay we have the nine of wands reversed we have the empress hmm. five of cups and the page of pentacles so the nine of wands is reversed so i think you might be used to others seeing you as kind of I, the word brutal is coming to my head it's not necessarily that you're a brutal person but you're used to being perceived that way because you are a very strong intense person in, in your decision making and I feel like a part of you, sometimes it, it, it's hard because you can feel shameful about that. It's not really your fault that you're like with the Empress here. It's not your fault <laughs> that you were born with a powerhouse of creative, natural, creative, feminine energy. You know, like you kind of just command people by your natural presence like you're just a natural born leader and you're very creative and others are inspired by you and sometimes I think that you actually might be afraid of how powerful that you really are with the uh five of cups or five of ghosts um it's funny because like sometimes you kind of feel bad <laughs> that you're so good at, at at what you do and um that a lot of people look up to you and so again like going to like the opposite side it's like you're actually afraid you've been afraid of failure and you're putting so much pressure on yourself because deep down you know like what where your truest potential lies and it's like if sometimes it feels like you can't win so it's like you put your best foot forward you put your full self out there and people love you but then there's also so many people that are prosecuting you and projecting onto you and making you feel bad and making you feel like you're not like like you're like you don't have a heart or something or like you just care about I don't know the the end goal or whatever it is that you're working on and it's like where is the balance there and it, it's funny because you are here to be 
successful. You're here to learn how to grow your success and how to be a business person and how to be uh, a manager of not only yourself, but others as well. Um, and you're here to learn about like the earthly realms and to acquire like earthly comforts. And for some reason, I feel like you've been holding back. Your fear is like fully stepping into your true power. And I feel like sometimes you flip flop with it because it could be comparison to other people. It could be that you don't want to make other people feel less than even though that's not really like that's not something that you have to worry about because by just being yourself and expressing yourself you're actually doing the world you know the correct service like why you're here you're fulfilling your mission and you're very inspirational um I feel like it's just like your natural responsibility your natural order puts a lot of pressure on you and um you're afraid of failure. I, you're afraid of letting people down because people look up to you so much. I think that's what it is. You're afraid of letting people down because people look up to you. You're afraid of, like, kind of sucking the air out of the room. Like, you don't want to be one of those people that suck the air out of the room. You're, like, si super hyper self-aware. And sometimes it's, like, it can become, like, exhausting because everyone's looking to you for answers all the time. And also you're like afraid. It's like, well, why are, why is everybody looking at me? I could be wrong. How, how do they know that I know everything? Like I'm only one person. But I think if you just keep following your passion and keep expressing yourself and, and being creative and just knowing naturally that you're a natural born leader, that you're a natural born like creative genius, that you're on the right path. So don't be afraid to like really showcase all of the strong aspects and layers of yourself don't be afraid to speak the truth don't be afraid that you know like the truth kind of like the figure here on on the on the coin um you know he gets point fingers get pointed at him because he's speaking the truth and there's forces out there that don't like it and there's people that are offended by it because it's an unhealed wound within themselves that they haven't come to terms with so don't be afraid of that because you're actually breaking down the layers of illusion and the layers of um wounds and stuff that people actually need to face so you're by you facing your fear you're actually helping others face their fear and that's part of how we're going to heal collectively and grow and become closer and become more honest and become a more loving society i don't even know if that makes sense but that's what i'm seeing here so where are we going from here in the um wow in the archetype so then the walker the unknown a journey so own your skills own your power and know that you don't need to know everything. You don't need to prove anything. You don't need to worry about if you're right or wrong. Just follow what you feel. You're on a journey. So many things. You're discovering unknown things every day. So you can take the pressure off yourself by realizing that you're in, in this world like everybody else. And so many things are unknown to us. Um, so much of life is a mystery. And for some reason you your mission or part of your mission is to be a teacher, to be a speaker, to be a leader, to be um, an inspiration. And um, a lot of the times you're not going to know if you're right or wrong. And that's totally okay because you're following your intuition and you're not being afraid of your power, the power that you actually have. And every day is part of the, the journey. So you're just walking by being yourself, you're walking your path, you're, you're living the adventure, you're on your journey. Whoops. <laughs> Did you guys hear my cat making funny noises? He has like a respiratory issue. Sorry about that. <laughs> He's just making so many weird sounds. Okay. Wow. Okay. So we went to this card. This card has nothing and it's personal power, self-empowerment, number 33. Number 33 is the number of ultimate like self-empowerment and ascension and Christ consciousness, and, like, soul expansion, and just, like, depth, beyond depth. I think the fear is fully stepping into your power, and you might be like, well, I'm already successful, I've already done so many, um, 
amazing things. I've already followed so much of my intuition, but it's like there's still so much more untapped because you you might be afraid and this might be hard to hear, but you might be actually afraid of what people think. And there are so many restrictions on our planet. And especially if you are a healer, like there's been thousands of years of being um, like sentenced to death for literally just speaking the truth and being a magical person. Like, I mean, Jesus is like the greatest example. And even like the Salem witch trials and stuff like we've been being attacked We've been under attack for being in our power, for being spiritual teachers, for having esoteric knowledge, for helping, you know, share the wisdom and uh, expand or heighten the vibration on the planet so that we can get to a more euphoric place so that we can get to a place where everybody is literally conscious of the fact that we are spirits in a human body and that um, we're experiencing like the density of like this 3D world so that we can create and go home to you know a beautiful uh heaven right so this is all about just owning your personal power if there's things that you need to say that you haven't said you, you don't be afraid to say them don't be afraid of having your power being taken away um or by losing a position or or of power or by you know having a bunch of people saying negative things about you like you need to say what you need to say you have these gifts for a reason and like the page of pentacles and the empress like you're here to be creative you're here to create comforts on earth you're here to be learning about the earth you're she's like inspecting the pumpkin right and she's in the mountains and there's books there she's here to learn you're here to learn and discover and unfold the mystery and walk the path of being being a walker be uh walk the path like of your journey like continue on your journey all the stepping stones on your journey so right now i'm seeing like you're one of the fears that you have to face is actually owning and realizing like sometimes it can be a little bit silly too because when we see hear other people's perceptions of us it's kind of like what like that's really i'm just like a regular person <laughs> but uh, everybody has a perception of us and we all have some type of an impact on on people around us and um, people look up to you and people see your power because that's what you naturally are and when it comes to like our own self-worth or how we think about ourselves or like our ego putting ourselves ourselves down and like the negative self-talk it's like we can kind of talk ourselves out of the truth like of who we are so just connect to your higher self connect to your inner self and realize okay I have to stop like sugarcoating. Maybe there's even places that you've been sugarcoating or sorry, my cat interrupted me again. Uh, I think I was saying like, don't feel like you need to censor yourself for other people. It's actually the best for you. The best thing for you to do, sorry, is to be completely raw, be completely truthful. I mean, like we're in Scorpio season. If you have anything in Scorpio in your chart, like, really follow that. Okay? I feel like there's something coming up soon for you. Or that it's already kind of starting to happen. And I, you might be feeling the future effects of it now before it started. And that might kind of freak you out a little bit. But I would suggest just doing the thing that scares you most. Which is speaking your truth. And being in that power position and being honest and not being and not letting like negative comments or people or influences get you down because they're they're triggered. So don't allow other people like you might be really empathetic. So you so that's probably part of the reason why sometimes you may tone yourself down or like censor yourself a bit because you want to be sensitive to other people's triggers. But like that's not your problem. Um, that it, it gets to a point where like that's actually enabling right and it's not selfish like when we had the thief it's not selfish like you're not stealing people's thunder you're like you need to allow people to have those triggers <laughs> and people can decide for themselves what uh who and what they want in their own lives but for you it's best that you speak your truth because you are a very powerful person 
Okay, memories. These cards are new, so we're gonna... I, I don't really know how to completely read these yet, but this is very interesting. We have another, an, sorry, another number 33, which is really cool. Ooh, Saturn. And it's the number eight. Wow. Okay, so the memories, honestly, it's funny because I said that you need to speak your truth, but then there's the silence card, but we're going to get into that, okay? So the memories could be part of the fear is someone might have said something to you when you were when you tried to stand up for yourself or when you tried to stand up for uh, someone else is this could be like a childhood thing this could be like really far back or even in a past life whenever you tried to stand for the right thing or the truth it feels like you got punished for it or that you were treated badly for it so it seems like sometimes you try to censor yourself to um appease others so that others are comfortable right so that could be like a core wound or fear is that you're afraid that everyone's going to hate you and, and go against you and make you feel like that your inner child is not going to get like that support for being brave. So you were probably a very brave person and every time you've been brave or had courage to be brave, it kind of feels like you're getting slapped in the face. <laughs> and then we have the number 33, silence. So again, 33 is the number of personal power and Christ consciousness and leadership and creativity. Um, it's funny because I think you know, you, you truly know when it's appropriate to be silent. You know when it's appropriate to cut off communication. You know when it's appropriate when and when not to say things. So... Also, don't put so much pressure on yourself like, oh, should I say that or should I not say that? Because I think you think about this a lot. I think you think about like, is it okay for me to say this right now or should I just not say this? Uh, again, because of the core memory um, of being treated badly for speaking the truth. But also, um, yeah, you don't want to come across the wrong way. You want to be understood. That's another part of it too is like needing to be understood and trust me, there's people out there that are going to understand you. Like, there's the people that need to hear you. I, I I, feel like I would love to learn from you. Like, this is the type, These are this is the type of, like, leadership. Or this is a leadership group. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Uh, I mean, you, again, you chose the Donald Trump coin. So, obviously, you feel some type of affinity to him. Or you feel... Um, like you can relate to him because he is a strong leader. Um, knowing when and when not to speak about things, but also not allowing your silence to like overpower uh, or, or to become deafening. Like don't hold back all that you're holding back. I feel like there's something that you're holding back and it needs to be unleashed. And then we have the Saturn card. And Saturn is an ass kicker. <laughs> so again, this is a very mature group. You have a lot of responsibility. I think I even said that before. Like a lot of people are looking up to you. You have you were born with some type of a, a strong uh, authoritative role. You've just kind of always been like a leader. People have always looked up to you. You've kind of always brought people together. You kind of always like organized the ongoings of your social life even or projects like you are the um you're like the go-getter <laughs> you're the uh anchor you are the creative powerhouse you have all of the ideas you have all of the answers um and even if you don't feel like you do people are looking to you like that so really step into that power role and also I feel like you're, you're just, yeah, you're a mature person. So you may have already gone through your Saturn return. You could be going through your Saturn return right now. And it's urging you to step into your power uh, and into your leadership role and to like, really face these fears of not being afraid of either, you know, like setting boundaries, speaking your truth, putting yourself out there and like shining really and being that inspiration. So Saturn is saying, like, this is who you are. This is what you need to be. And the more you ignore or the more you 
don't even have gratitude for these gifts. The more that you put yourself down for being this way or the more that you allow other people's fears of you, like the fear of what you have to say, make you feel bad or make you feel like you're not a good person or make you feel like lonely, like Saturn is going to keep returning these lessons into your life. If that makes sense. Because Saturn's a planet of karma. And this is a karmic thing. So you could have been a witch that was burned in Salem. You could have been, you know, a follower of Jesus that got, you know, crucified or stoned or whatever. Like, you you could have been anybody who spoke the truth and got prosecuted for it. Also, in the past four years, 2020, 2021, 2022, you probably were non-compliant to the government propaganda and rules and regulations that were actually illegal and made no sense and again that's a karmic cycle a wound coming up again it's like okay again i'm just being myself again i'm just being a human again i'm just standing up for humanity human rights my own rights my freedom my peace my truth my magic and i'm getting shat all over for it so it's like this is like a recurring lesson and it's like you are here to keep being that leader to keep being brave to keep standing up to keep having courage to show others and it's scary because it's a lot of pressure and sometimes it's lonely so sometimes even with the silence card it might be good to step into or go into uh, um, a safe space like where that you can be silent where you don't need to see anybody where you don't need to speak to anybody where you you just like you're yourself you're not like this leader with all the answers so yeah um good fortune okay cool abundance this is something else that's come that comes from when we um face our fears is like what's on the other side of facing your fear is actually all of the blessings that god has in store for you and the more you do the hard things the more that you you know take the route or the road less traveled the more you're going to be rewarded and it's true if you listen you can listen to any like inspirational um talks from entrepreneurs and people who did things their own way and carved their own path like it's so hard they had to go through so many hard uh trials and tribulations in life they had they went from nothing to just finally taking control of their life and doing what they felt they needed to do in their heart and following their passion and they're all experiencing good fortune and like financial stability or, or even to the point of like riches so the more you go down this path of not being afraid the more you're going to make a name for yourself and and show yourself to the world and um you're going to be rewarded with you know everything that you could ever wish for in the material i mean we have the page of pentacles everything that you could wish for in the material and it's your duty to keep working on the spiritual aspect of it because just because you have you know all the money in the world that money doesn't really buy happiness it can buy you experiences it can buy you like fun clothes it can buy you fun things it can buy you travel but you have to be good within yourself to even fully enjoy those things um so yeah you're definitely a leader i want to grab this card wow trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do <laughs> wow Okay, so a lot of the fear, again, going back to it, is when you speak sometimes, you, you feel a lack of support and it's scary because there's a lot of pressure coming at you and it's like you're just carrying all of that on your own. And, and you don't know how to, like, it, this is like an inner child wound, I think, because you were brave. You were a brave kid and you got shat on for it. And so it's like, you need to trust your path. I know you know. I feel like this is something that you've been conquering and I know that you know, but I think that there's going to be another test or there is already a test being presented to you where there's something that needs to be said or there's something that you need to do or put out into the world or put out to your people or into your job or into your family, wherever it is that you are a prominent figure. There's something that you need to put out that might scare you a bit because again am I going to be supported for this or am I going to be like treated like shit and I don't want to be a failure and I don't want to feel the pressure of 
you know, everybody looking to me all the time and then feeling like shit about it when, you know, I might fail. But you're the empress. This is a really powerful card to have. This is a major arcana card. This is you. This is where you are in your life right now. You're like so creative and everything is growing beautifully all around you. And you're just here to discover like the page of, of pentacles, the page of pumpkins here. Um, you're going to continue to keep getting uh, opportunities for material wealth, but like also um, creative ideas and work like it's never going to stop. So trust your path. I hope my message is coming across clearly. And then I picked two of these cards by accident. I thought I picked one and you got two. So these are the animal cards that are going to help you move forward. Wow. Okay, so we have the cobra, which is very intense. <laughs> very much scorpionic. Uh, very much spitting venom. Very much having boundaries. So just because you're this very intense leader, very intense, uh, you know yourself very well, very intense magic, very intense um, alchemical and uh, transcendent abilities, doesn't mean you can't be playful like the otter, otter doesn't mean you can't show the fun side of yourself and just because and and if you do show the fun side of yourself and if you are a silly type of person it doesn't mean that you know people don't see this either so it's kind of like a strange dynamic but it does make sense because if you're willing to show your heart so much to be this playful otter and to have fun and to have adventure and to share love with people you must, you know, you must be secure in yourself. You must have, you know, the strong boundaries. You must be that leader if you're willing to really show how sweet you are. I don't know if that makes sense. But so being strong when you need to be strong, being silent when you need to be silent, speaking when you need to speak, and, and playing and being soft and being fun and being lovable. You're, you're always lovable. Even if you're showing this part of yourself, you're always lovable. Because people, no matter what, are looking up to you and, are, and respect you. But remember, like, deep down inside, this is you. You just want to play. You just want to have fun. And in order to have that freedom and that fun, sometimes we have to really be that cobra, like I was talking about. Your inner child. This is your inner child. Just like, why can't I do this if I want to do this? Why can't I go there if I want to go there? Why are you telling me that I have to do this to my body? I don't want to do this to my body. Why are you telling me that, you know, I'm crazy because I believe in magic? Why are you going to burn me? Why are you going to crucify me? When I'm just trying to have everybody have an open heart and, like, be free on the planet. It's the warrior. It's the warrior and then the warrior's heart. <laughs> so... Facing your fears of stepping truly into your power and realizing how powerful you are. And don't don't be afraid that that's like an ego thing because it's not, okay? And not everybody has the same path as you. Not everybody thinks like you. Not everybody has, you know, the same skills as you. Like, you're born this way because this is what you're meant to do. You feel these things because this is who you are. I'm going to pick or roll the Astrodice to see what's coming up for you. Um, this Scorpio season do uh, in regards to like your fears and facing them and etc so what's coming for you oh I gotta roll again <laughs> I'm gonna roll again because I dropped one okay so we have Mercury in Libra wow in the 10th house okay so whatever it is that you do for work so wait let me just show you Mercury in Libra in the 10th house so whatever it is that you do for work wherever you shine like I said before wherever it is that you're a prominent figure you need to be very open and communicative um, to actually strengthen and, and bring people together to actually find balance and to find and to find peace and to find a common ground you actually need to be speaking your truth and it's actually going to bring peace to your life and it's actually going to bring um, I think you'll be surprised at uh, the positive reaction um, to whatever it is that needs to be expressed uh, coming forward. I think you'll be surprised. And um, because of your otter heart, because of like your true nature, your soft heart, your playful heart, your inner child, 
Um, people are going to see that and respect you and you might actually help a lot of people, you know, either open their eyes or open their hearts. And yeah, I just feel like moving forward, being honest and being tactful and being fair, being fair, like not being so intense here or so intense there, like just clearly communicating what it is that you think, what it is that you feel. And I think the results, you'll be um, surprised by the results. So yes, like I said earlier, something big's coming up, but you're kind of feeling fearful about it. It's a core wound from, you know, being brave as a child and being um, getting in trouble for basically speaking your truth and fully stepping into that's one of your gifts is the ability to see the truth and to speak the truth and to be brave enough to do it because not everybody has that gift not everybody has that skill and not everybody is looked to and has that like saturnian uh, responsibility and authoritative energy or personality to to do it and to walk that path so trust your path trust your personal power um remember that you're a creative genius and by doing so you will create and continue to create abundance luck money new opportunities so yeah i hope that made sense thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one hello group number two if you chose this pyrite and saphrodite crystal or tectite i should say this is your reading all about what are your fears and how you can face them and how you can move forward so with this group i don't know i feel like there's some type of doubt coming up um there's some type of some fear obviously we're talking about fears but i feel like a pit in my stomach like you're anticipating something or that you're worried about something or you don't you're not clear on a certain issue and maybe you have a specific question that you asked or that a specific thing that you're wondering about and that you're hoping comes through I'm not sure but I'm feeling I don't know if it's quite anxiety but like dread I'm feeling dread about something <sighs> okay and that might not sound fun but I feel like you're feeling dreadful about something or you're worried about something at least so we're gonna start with this archetype card this is either like what your fears are or where you're coming from right now in regards to your fears and we have the brawler <laughs> okay so this is lack of empathy and confrontation interesting so you might be somebody who when you feel something or when you feel triggered or when a sensitive topic or issue comes up emotionally you kind of shut down and because you feel um victimized or even villainized or attacked uh you can close yourself off and have a lack of empathy towards the person who might be trying to you know reach out and and speak to you or connect with you on a certain issue on one of your issues maybe someone maybe something you do or some of your behavior actually hurts someone or someone's pointing out that your hurtful behavior and you feel like you're being confronted and you kind of withdraw like you're being attacked and you actually lose your empathy and you're not you're not you don't see clearly the um the other person or the other people's point of view because you're feeling hurt and victimized yourself so you can be someone who is avoidant and but also tends to fight and might not like confrontation but then you kind of treat the situation as a confrontation so yeah there's kind of like a little bit of a wishy-washiness here when it comes to how you handle tough or vulnerable or harder subject matter and yeah it's like you want to be empathetic and you want somebody to care about how you feel but then it's like you feel triggered and attacked and you kind of close yourself off and you don't really listen to or or truly 
um, absorb how the other person feels. So you're a little bit of a fighter. <laughs> and that could be a fear. You don't want to come off that way because that's not your intention. But the way that you handle emotional situations, that's how you're, you, you come off right now. Um, so let's see what the fear is behind that and why this happens. So we have the King of Swords reversed. We have the Ten of Swords reversed. Interesting. Ooh. We have the Hermit. One of my favorite cards. And we have the Ten of Cups reversed. Okay, so yeah, you guys are going through something difficult right now, for sure. Um, or this is a pattern that you've been dealing with your whole life. But I feel like because of like that dreadful feeling, or maybe you don't even want to hear what I have to say, but you're doing the reading anyway, that could be what the dread is. Because it's actually trying, like something that you need to face, because we're talking about facing our fears. The King of Swords reversed is somebody who doesn't want to actually hear the truth. Who somebody might... Uh, you might rather lie to yourself and lie to other people instead of actually like, you know, facing like some of the psychological stuff going on inside of you and actually being open to discuss it with others. So you do close yourself off not only emotionally, but mentally when it comes to your own patterns and your own behavior. The Ten of Swords reversed to me in this reading kind of indicates again, um, you feeling defeated and you feeling overwhelmed by your own thoughts and your own emotions and then uh, kind of trying to merge with others and, and also dealing with their uh, thoughts and emotions too. And it being reversed, uh, like the king, it's like kind of like an avoidant uh, personality. Again, with a brawler, you'll fight or you'll push. You'll push away because it's like, it's so overwhelming to you and it's like you feel guilty about I don't know there we're gonna get further into it I feel like you're afraid that people don't understand you because then we're coming to the hermit here I feel like you're one of your fears is that no one understands you and you have to constantly lie or pretend to be something that you're not um but then it just comes to bite you in the butt because do you remember who you are now because you've been putting on this, this face and this front to make yourself comfortable amongst other people to make them feel comfortable it's kind of like a really, this is like a really deep-rooted pattern. Um, it's the avoidance. It's the avoidance. And it's obviously due to some type of trauma. It could be past life or early childhood uh, from pain and not being understood and not having anybody to relate to maybe and maybe feeling like you don't really belong where you are and you're kind of just like floating along and everybody is like just this certain way and you have to like kind of pretend to be like them to fit in. Um, and it's gotten to a point where it's like now it's, it's like part of your daily habits and routines and your true self is being hidden from the world. And you also, that could be your survival tactic is to hide your true self from the world because like the hermit, you're very intelligent you're very knowledgeable you just understand things you have a very vast like uh grand inner world um you probably have like a huge imagination you probably have lots of ideas you probably like are very interested in so many different subject matters um you want to learn as much as you can you might be interested in like science or alchemy or chemistry or you know just like occultism um anything like that metaphysical science too um just like gaining wisdom because you're naturally just like a magical person and I feel like part of your wound or your fear is that you couldn't really relate to a lot of people in that way growing up and maybe you've tried to like explain or share experiences with people and they kind of like went over their head or you kind of just felt like they it couldn't really you couldn't really reach them, so you kind of grew some avoidant um, habits or patterns. Some avoidant patterns because it started to hurt. Trying to connect with people who didn't understand you constantly over and over and over again started to hurt. And you kind of started to block yourself out 
and numb yourself. And um, now when a fear could be like actually connecting with people or or actually go, getting to that deep part of your self to actually show that part to people. And when someone comes to you and is like, hey, I want to understand why you're you're doing this or, or whatever, you get very defensive because you just, it's like a, it's like something engraved in your brain that you just like automatically, you, you don't give people the opportunity to even go there with you because you feel this loneliness, this emptiness, you know what I'm saying? So like you kind of just go into other worlds. I haven't even gotten to the 10 of cups yet, but because of this, because of this behavior and because of you having uh, finding it difficult to connect with people emotionally and mentally and like wanting to go to the depths with people, it's actually preventing you from ha- finding that happiness that you're telling yourself that you want. So you're telling yourself that you want fulfillment, that you want family, that you want closeness, that you want intimacy, that you want um, like an abundance of joy and fun and um, love. Your survival tactics of being avoidant because you've been hurt is keeping you from the thing that you say that you want. So all of this, it's actually like at this point, it's your fault now (laughs) that you're not allowing yourself to have that because you're afraid. Because you, because people, you feel like ignored. Maybe you feel you're, you've been ignored or that, yeah, people don't understand you or that you didn't find that connection that you really needed growing up or something like that, that um, you now just kind of block it out because there's like some type of jaded or cynical belief that you don't even like either you're not worthy of it or it doesn't exist or a pattern or a behavior became an addiction and is now blocking you from the thing that you truly want. So that's a fear that you're going to have to face that you're that you're facing right now is like, what am I not? What am I blocking from my life? Like, what? What am I avoiding? What are you avoiding? That's the question is what are you avoiding? Because you're not telling you're not telling the truth. You're not speaking the truth. You're not facing the truth. You're you're being kind of like immature and um, what's the word untrue with your word. Like, your words are just our words, basically. Like, it's not... There's no substance behind the things that you say. And it isolates you, or you become isolated. And all the things that you want to explore, it feels like you're just doing it on your own. But because of all these things, it's keeping you from what you say will make you the happiest. Or what you believe will make you the happiest. So, moving forward, we have the twins. So this says self-protection and dual natures. Hmm. So I think this is like merging with people, but also understanding your duality too and learning how to integrate that without becoming avoidant. So it's good to protect yourself and it's good to keep things to yourself and to... Um, have privacy for your own sanity. I mean, you are a hermit, or well, you're not your. Well, I mean, you could be in the hermit mode right now. That's why we chose this card. We are in the hermit mode right now. Um, but it's also important for you to let people in, and so that you can grow, so that you can expand, so that you can actually feel fulfillment and um, to be in a true partnership. Like there's duality there's masculine and feminine there's light and dark like these are things that you don't have to experience on your own and that you can let go of the fear to experience this with somebody so i don't know if you believe in twin flames or whatever it could just be like we could use this as a metaphor this could be something that you've experienced with a person or or you're having difficulties now um because of a certain twin flame relationship or a soulmate relationship or something a lot of this is coming up for you now um you could have been maybe you're going through a breakup or um just stuff in your 
romantic life is and your personal relationships is kind of difficult right now because you need to be face your fears and the universe and god is urging you to work through these things especially during the scorpio season it's not going to get any easier it's just going to get louder and louder and louder Golden door, expanding wisdom. Okay, so there's so many, I was saying before that you don't, you might be, I don't even know if you know that you do this all the time, but sometimes you, yeah, like I said, you don't even give people the opportunity to really fully dive into your world. And it's like the thing that you're saying that you want, you want like that twin, you want that dual nature, you want that integration, you want that fulfillment. Um, you are not allowing that fully into your life because you're not even giving some people the opportunity and the doors and the opportunities have been there or are there and it's like the door keeps opening but you keep closing it or you keep leaving it open and staring through and seeing the possibilities and then kind of walking away so it's like there's doors that are open, you see the other side, you, you, you feel it out, and it's like, okay, this is what I want, but I can't. So you're holding yourself back from what it is that you truly want to make you happy, and it's scary. It's scary to face yourself, it's scary to look in the mirror, it's scary to go deep and understand, like, why am I even doing this, right? Because again, some, like, survival tactics... They become a pattern and they can also become, they're like habits and they're um, addictive. They can be addictive and then they can cause uh, other problems. Like they can create more issues. So if you're avoiding something, it could also bring up addiction issues because when we use substances, it takes us away. It numbs us or it takes us into a different place that takes us away from what we, it is that we need to deal with. So I don't know if you guys have like Pisces placements or something or even a lot of just, um, you know, like even Gemini or the a lot of the mutable signs um, or just even some water signs, too. Yeah. OK, Earth. Air. Interesting. <laughs> Nitro cards and ge geometry. OK, so going back. OK, wait, let's start with the Earth. So what's going to help is being grounded. So when you're being avoidant, you're not grounded. <laughs> when you're not facing yourself, when you're not telling the truth, when you're not taking responsibility for the things that you're doing and realizing that a lot of it is you, <clears throat> 13 magic, stepping into your magic, you, um, you're not grounded. You need to step into your magic. You need to step, you need to feel into the things that are painful and... <clears throat> Like all these seeds here, you have a lot of seeds planted, but you're not watering them. You're you're draining the soil and everything is wilting away. You need to ground yourself and go being in earth, being in nature. When you <clears throat> are in nature, you probably feel most alive. When you experience like the most natural and simple things in life, that's probably when you feel the best because there's no distractions everything is just the way it is that's the way mother nature created the earth that's the way th this is what we have this is what we've been given um and and you're just there you're there experiencing and observing what mother earth has created and that's probably when you feel the best so i would suggest really you know going into nature as often as possible going outside as often as possible taking a walk going into the forest doing anything some natural activity as often as possible because it will bring you into your body and it will help you start feeling what it is that you need to feel and facing what it is that you need to face with the air again this does have to do with nature but i feel like um a lot of this has to do with you know proper communication and um your communication style and working on being a better communicator and working on being a more honest communicator. But also with the air, it's like the wind can blow that way and the wind can go blow that way. And then we have the birds with the twins on that card. So yeah, you could have like some Gemini influences for sure. Um, it's like going back and forth, going back and forth and not finding like 
that that balance just like that flow like the air just keeps everything fresh and keeps everything moving and you know brings the uh inspiration and can bring change like using your words with meaning and with intention it's going to change how things unfold in your life moving forward so being truthful in communication um being honest in communication and, and not being avoidant and not lying and yeah not trying to hide basically with the geometry this is kind of interesting and like i said before like with the hermit card i feel like you are someone who's like very smart and very scientific and you have a very active mind you might also be somebody who draws conclusions quickly without actually having like the right information or you might come to a theory before you actually get all the information that you need so this is like being really smart and having an active mind and being maybe calculating um but sometimes it's like you don't have all the right information and you need to maybe look into things closer and harder be more intentional and uh really try to like get to the bottom of everything like I feel like you are doing yourself a disservice by not really listening or not really feeling or not really getting to the bottom of like life's mysteries including your own including other people's so I feel like you need to really start looking deeper and uh trying harder and studying okay ancient healing cord cutting so with the ancient healing with the word just ancient healing in general this is something that's i don't even know if this is from this life i'm going to say that this is from a past life that you are living something out from your most recent past life i feel and it's been really difficult and I don't even think you realize it yet. Again, with the geometry, like there's certain things about yourself. If you really want to go down this path of of the truth for yourself and facing the fear, there's going to be things that you didn't even know that are coming up. Um, and you might be really either tripped out, freaked out, or surprised. Um, but I feel like in the end, you are going to be grateful because I feel like you do have a grateful heart. And cord cutting, like releasing yourself from the ties that bind you. <laughs> releasing yourself from the chains that are holding you back that are holding you in the dark that are keeping you in the shadows that are not allowing you to grow and expand and to be like the beautiful loving person that you really are um so this could also be removing bad habits or if you do have an addiction issue, cutting out the addiction, cutting out the substance, uh, replacing it with something that's actually better for you, or actually just, you know, sometimes going cold turkey and going through actually feeling what you need to feel. Because I, like I said before, I feel like you're very avoidant. And if you're going to go cold turkey on something, it's going to fucking hurt. And if you're avoidant, you're going to want to go run to something else to make you feel numb or to make you feel anything else really instead of actually feeling it so like i said earlier in this video in the intro you need to feel into the scorpio season you need to feel what you need to feel instead of just saying random stuff to make it seem okay but beneath the surface things aren't okay this is an intense one you guys okay keepers of the earth you are not alone and ancient ancestors stand beside you well wow. okay so at the beginning i said you felt maybe like nobody understood you um you might have felt lonely and just remember you're not alone okay you're an infinite being you've met thousands of souls in all your lives and you have a uh, family you have your ancestors you have your spirit guides you have you know if you have your friends you know you, you definitely you have somebody and even if you feel like you don't if, I'm sure you'll be surprised if you reach out you'll definitely get um, a helping hand or uh, an open heart or any type of you know love and then that's available to you and to remember to give 
to give that opportunity to people to love you and to help you to give that opportunity to people to to let them in into your world and go through you know the difficulties that you've been facing or that you've been avoiding and then so we have a spirit animal card and this is kind of what's going to help you get through this and the the animal that medicine sorry the animal medicine that will help you get through this and this is the beaver and this is all about building and this is all about like <laughs> business but it's also about family yeah it's about building building your own life building upon a strong foundation I feel like you're not on a solid foundation right now I feel like you don't have a solid foundation I feel like you feel like you're like everything's kind of like up in the air you don't know which way to go this is about you finding direction within your own heart and building upon that and having goals and having structure and again going into nature and focusing on your work because that will also ground you focusing on what brings you physical sustenance what brings you material gains and wealth like focusing on the earth aspect of it like going down to the earth card again is being grounded so the only way uh the only way to get through this is to feel through this and to build and to work and to be grounded and to cut off anything that is holding you back from your true happiness anything that you think is damaging you and that is creating issues not only for you but in between you know your relationships and stuff you need to cut it out because it's just going to get worse and the beaver will help you help you build something new help you build something strong help you build something that will actually protect you like we got the protectors and the twins that will actually protect you in a beneficial way not something that will shield you not something that will you know hide you or from yourself or not something that will enable you to stay avoidant so i'm going to do the astro dice to see um what's coming up for you during the scorpio season in regards to facing your fears okay we got the moon in aquarius in the 12th house so a lot of introspection again hermity aquarius is can be hermity especially moon and aquarius i have moon and aquarius so i get it and then we have the 12th house which is like very is it's pisces it's like what's happening behind the scenes what's hidden um the things that people don't know about again addictions so this is you getting objective being calm being uh honest with yourself and really looking into what it is about yourself that needs to change so that you can be happy so it's really really getting clear and self-aware and um following your intuition and and you know like that's another disservice to yourself too is like you're being avoidant but it's like i know you, you probably have intuitive pulls or insights that and and that inner dialogue that tells you maybe you shouldn't be doing these things because of this this and that but then you do it anyways because it's just a really intense strong habit so it's like really getting honest with yourself about that and freeing yourself from those shackles and and creating a new life and replacing the shitty habits with new innovative ones or diving into your work or diving into your studies right building something new to get yourself out of like the old ways of thinking you need to um nourish and yeah nurture your gifts instead of feeding your shadows instead of actually feeding your shadows and feeding your fears you need to nourish your gifts because you have a lot okay so that's what i'm seeing for you i hope that resonated with you i love you and i'll see you in the next one okay group number three if you chose the garnet and the bison coin copper coin then this is your reading all about your fears how we can face them and move forward so the bison's a pretty intense animal garnet's pretty intense copper's pretty intense i feel like you're a little bit of an intense person or you're feeling intense about something i feel like they're like i felt 
like something might be bothering you like like angering you like I felt some anger or like that you were pissed off about something or I don't know there's like it could be stemming from a fear that you have and, and it's translating into anger um but yeah I'm feeling like this ang anger inside so we're gonna pick an archetype card first to see what's going on okay cool we got the witch I love these cards experimentation and rebellion okay so sometimes when we're rebellious we can feel um one of the aspects of that is anger not wanting to be held down not wanting to be controlled um feeling misunderstood not wanting to go with the grain feeling angry at the world kind of and experimenting um experimentation is wanting to have more opportunities wanting there to be more for you not not just going along with what with the rules with what you with what blah, 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 with what you've been told is appropriate or not or what's allowed and what's not allowed so kind of playing with the energies so that could be where the anger is stemming from you're natural naturally rebellious and you're you don't want to be tied or held down <laughs> but let's get deeper into it okay so we have the eight for some reason i wanted to turn that the other way around i don't know why the eight of swords reversed then we have the six of pentacles reversed hmm. we have the eight of pentacles or pumpkins upright and then we have the knight of pentacles reversed okay first of all i feel like you feel like you've been cheated from something like something's been taken from you or that you weren't given an opportunity um or, yeah something's being taken away from you you haven't been given a proper opportunity and it's been hard i feel like you're afraid that your hard work is going unnoticed because People aren't either taking you seriously or you think that people aren't taking you seriously um, or you've just been dealt like a shit hand. That's how I'm feeling. I'm not saying that's true, but I feel like that's a fear that you have is that you've been dealt a crappy hand at life and like nothing that you do is going to work with the Knight of. So like uh, the Knight of Pentacles reversed with the Eight of Pentacles here, it shows that you're like a very hard worker and that you are focused on like growth and like building in life and you know getting money and um yeah just having like the ethic and wanting to have like fulfilling experiences but like for some reason with the knight of pentacles reverse it's like you're not seeing or you haven't seen or you're afraid you won't see the results of that action like the positive results or the results that you feel you deserve from the actions that you're taking because in the past um it just seems like you weren't made a priority so this could be some of this could be abandonment fears um which also again is re rebellion people not taking you seriously people not caring about what what you want what you're interested in um what's best for you what feels right for you and just putting you in this in this place and telling you this is how it should be and then you kind of like doing the work and um the you know doing what you were told but also kind of doing what you want to do for yourself and like there are not being positive results from that so it's weird it's like there's this being forced to do something that you don't want to do but then also doing what you do want to do and it not paying off or you being afraid that it's not paying off i want to pick this card this is what we're going towards so the cartographer interesting so this is a crossroads and exploration okay yeah so you feel like or you're afraid that you won't get to your destination to the destination that you want to get to you feel like this is the life that I'm supposed to live. This is what God's dealt me. This is the family that I'm in. This is the relationship that I'm in. This is the people that I meet. This is what I get. This is what I get. So a lot of this, I feel like, is untapped self-belief too. 
um, not having enough confidence in yourself and in your truth. And also maybe being too afraid to take a leap of faith because you're afraid it might fail or you're being held back or you feel like you won't have enough money or you won't be fulfilled or you won't be sustained. And it's a lot of just like fear of things not working out because you've been put into situations that don't feel good so many times that you're like, this is how it is and this is how it's going to be. And you're like, no, 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 no. I want to get out of this. I want to work my way out of this. I'm going to do everything I can to get out of this and gain independence. But it's like you're afraid that you're not going to get that independence. And sometimes, you know, life lessons are lifelong. And sometimes, yeah, they, they repeat and they come in cycles. And we keep getting opportunities. Um, the universe keeps showing us ways that we can move forward and heal. So maybe... You just haven't gotten to the bottom of this fear yet and why it hasn't clicked or changed or something that you're still afraid of facing or fighting or getting to the bottom of. Um, but we did get the witch and we got the rebellion um, and the experimentation. So like the creative and like the, um, what, what's the word? The creative power is within you. The intuitive power is within you the wanting more the wanting uh to feel experience and experiment with life more is in you a lot of this has to do with maybe taking leaps of faith and not falling back on something that's comfortable because physically it might seem like everything's okay right now but it's like not a compromise what's the word it's uh oh my god I can't think of the word uh I can't think of the word right now it was like literally right on the tip of my tongue and it, and it got lost but it's like taking what you have even though it doesn't feel good and just like surrendering to that or just like accepting that like there's nothing more for you and that's a fear but you're like kind of living your fear without truly facing it and in order to face your fears you're going to have to take a leap of faith basically and maybe you feel like you have taken certain leaps of faith, but it could be certain, some things could be blocked because of like your mindset or your beliefs about yourself. This reading's kind of going by quickly, but um, where do I want to go next? I'll choose this card. Truth, higher truth. So are you telling yourself the truth? Are you, do you really believe what you're telling yourself? Like, I feel like you're somebody who has a lot of dreams and aspirations but do you really believe that? Do you really believe that you can get there? Or also finding your truth. It could also be with the rebellion. It could also be like you're always running away from something. Um, you're never fully like integrating even into like the painful situations that you don't want to be in. And finding your truth. It could be just always going there, 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 there. And never getting to your truth so do, do you really know what you even want or are you just aimlessly working towards something different where you feel something more this one's a little bit confusing not going to lie <laughs> or are you angry at the truth is the truth that's been revealed to you in your life about the world about how either your family about yourself about your situation is that what's actually causing the anger and the disruption from you moving forward is like it's too it's too much to handle you can't handle the truth or the truth is too painful that you're afraid to go further you're afraid to take a step further there's a lot of layers here okay again we have saturn the first group got saturn we have dice that's so funny and we have silence okay so the first group got silence too which is interesting okay so with Saturn is I feel like there's been a lot of pressure on you your whole entire life. And that makes sense because I said I feel like you've been put into situations that feel really restrictive and that you didn't really have a choice and that you didn't like those choices and you tried to rebel against it and you tried to run from it. But then sometimes uh, there could be times where you like just kind of allowed it or surrendered to it and tried to work your way out of it. Um, but yeah, there's like a restrictive pressure on you um maybe you're the oldest sibling i don't know 
maybe people just have high expectations of you or or somebody else wanted something for you that you don't want for yourself like your parent for example wanted you to have a specific career and wanted you to like go into school and do all this work and it's like you didn't really actually care about it like you did the work but the results aren't coming out okay I feel like I'm getting kind of a clearer picture here is like you've been put into situations that feel super restrictive there's a lot of pressure on you okay you didn't want to do it there's been times where you've rebelled or maybe you're at a point now where you're rebelling against things but there's you've tried to rebel you tried to get away you tried to do what you felt was right and you know you didn't see a result from that and then so you tried to work through the situation that you were put in you tried to work with what you were given and still there isn't like the results that you wanted so it's about who you what your truth is well, whose truth are you living whose whose life are you living yours or someone else's right so it's about what do I want that might be what scares you the most is like what do I even want Right. I think you do know what you want, but sometimes you can psych yourself out of it because things have been so restrictive. And when we're constantly listening to other people's rules and pressure, it can start to actually brainwash us and be like, wait, is this actually what's right for me? Is this what I actually want? Like we start to doubt ourselves, kind of like how propaganda works. Right. So it's really interesting that we got the dice because this is about taking a chance. And it says chance right there. And this is about taking a leap of faith. And it's about rolling the dice. And it's like the cartographer. It's like, okay, let's roll the dice on the map and see where I'm gonna where I'm headed or where I want to go or what feels good. Or even look at a map or look at different countries in the world. Maybe like you just need to leave this space that you're in. Maybe you just need a break from where you're at. And you know, think about even if you don't know what you want, I'm trying to say like um look at different places on the planet, different countries. And I'm not saying you have to move there or live there, but just picture what it would feel like living or having a different life or doing something that you enjoy doing in that place. And some places you might feel like, no, no, I don't like it there. Or in some other places you might be like, ooh, I do like it there. What would I do if I lived there? Where would I live? Like, what kind of people would be around me? What kind of car would I have? What kind of food would I eat? What kind of clothes would I wear? Et cetera, et cetera. So I feel like you need... It's like you're afraid to actually take the steps towards your ultimate freedom and happiness and what you really want because there's so much restriction. You're afraid to let go of it and you're also, because there's such an attachment to that restriction where whatever the source is, you're afraid of letting that source down. And also it's kind of like that source has kind of taken control of you. So now it's like I have to take control of myself. And personally, for me, that's one of my biggest fears is actually taking responsibility and control of my own life. <laughs> and I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. It's an ultimate fear for somebody because that means you have to grow up and you have to make hard decisions and you have to completely, not that you're alone, but you have to completely step into the idea that, you know, you, you're you and you have to do what's best for you and you need to take care of yourself. And that can be scary. So I get it. Um, but don't be afraid to daydream or yeah, like explore. Um, again, yeah, like we have the cartographer card. It's about exploring instead of being stuck. It's about exploring. And with the silence card, 33, you might, uh, okay. So first of all, 33 is like a very powerful number. Also eight's a very powerful number. It's all about manifestation and uh, infinite possibilities. And then we have nine from the three and the six, which is um, higher knowledge and higher learning and spirituality and travel. And then we have, yeah, the 33, which is all about personal power and creativity and, you know, your connection to your higher self and to the universe. And it says silence. And it's like, to me, this is saying you're used to being silenced what you're used to not having your needs fulfilled and not having your needs listened to because and, and you allow that even in your personal relationships and and even probably romantic relationships you allow yourself to be undermined or to not have your needs met because of the restrictive lifestyle that you've been living or or 
the fact that you've been living someone else's dreams and desires and not your own. So this is about speaking your truth, finding your truth and speaking it and not being afraid to share. Um, but sharing when it's appropriate or sharing when it's right for you. Um, sharing when it's safe for you, maybe is what I mean. You don't have to tell everybody your plans. You don't have to tell everybody what you're thinking or feeling. There are certain people that are going to get you, that are going to understand you, that are going to support you. Not everybody is going to, because of the way your life is and how you've lived your life and certain people that are around you, not everybody is going to be supportive right now because you've continued and allowed this restrictive, these restrictive people and ideas into your life. So don't be afraid to share, but also... Sometimes it's a little bit smart to choose what you share with who. Reflection. Mirror. So I feel like you see yourself in a lot of the people that you've been meeting recently. But you're seeing, and it's not like... How do I explain this? I feel like you're seeing what could be you or who you really are on the inside through a lot of the people that you're meeting because God is also urging you to step up and step into your heart and to allow yourself to be happy and to allow yourself to be free and to allow yourself to like conquer these fears and move forward in life. It's like, it's just holding you down and it's not getting you, it's not allowing you to move forward, right? And to have that security. It's like you're striving for security and you're not feeling it because you're not happy doing what you're doing. And you're meeting people who might maybe are happy doing what they're doing and maybe they have interesting jobs or interesting lives or interesting hobbies and they really dive into, you know, what they're passionate about. And you're seeing that that's something that you want. But I feel like, again, because it's become a pattern, because it's a fear, you might actually believe that you can't have those things. Or that you don't deserve those things. Or you don't actually need those things, right? But it's a desire and it's something that you feel. So it's like that's that's your north direction. That's the direction that you need to be going in. Is what feels right for you. Or letting go of what doesn't feel right for you. And I think a lot of people too, subconsciously or consciously, see that you're actually really powerful. I mean, you got the witch card. So you're very powerful. You're very intuitive. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. And I feel like um, the people who have set restrictions on you see that and they actually project their fear of what else is out there. Their fear of how far they can go. So it's like they want to hold you back because they see your, your potential. They see how bright of a light you are and they want to dim it and they want to keep you down because it makes them feel better. And we have another six here. We have a 33, which is six. And then we have a six here. And then we have the three there on the truth card. So that's really interesting. A lot of personal truth cards, a lot of foundational cards, a lot of creative and a lot of, um, yeah, like self-nurturing cards or numbers, I should say. And it's like people want to hold you back because you have so much to offer and it's been untapped. And you're trying, but it's also scary. <sighs> Share your voice. Wow. Come out of the cave. Persecution. Expression. So it's like with that silence card, you've been silenced for too long. And you need to share your voice. And you need to come out of the cave. You don't need to live your life for other people. You need to live your life for you. And I totally forgot to pick you an animal card, so we're going to do that now. This is this animal that's going to come out for you is the medicine that, uh, or the animal totem that's going to help you move through these fears and move forward. The camel. <laughs> the camel can sustain itself. The camel's humps are filled with water, and it can go months, uh without you know going back for nourishment because it's steadfast and and strong in itself it knows itself it has a strong will 
They can walk for miles. They can go as far as they need to go without stopping. You know what I mean? Like they're very independent um, animals, but they also like to be around other people like them. So it's a, this could also be about like finding your tribe and staying and, and um, staying strong in who you are, but also being validated by people who see you for who you are and who celebrate you for who you are and who encourage you to walk your true path, right? So I hope that resonated with you. Oh, uh, we're going to also, I'm going to do the astro dice um, to see what's coming up for you this Scorpio season in regards to your fears. Okay, wow. So we got Jupiter in Scorpio in the fourth house. I actually have this placement. <laughs> so this is about finding your truth, finding um, success in your, what your truth is. Like, where do you want to, where do you want to expand and transform in your life? Jupiter, Scorpio in the fourth house. This is like your home, your family, your comfort zone, what you're used to, where you're coming from. Um, how can you transform your roots where or how can you transform where you're at right now in order to expand and go further and to actually get that um abundance to get that material abundance where should you be focusing your energy and scorpios are really, like are independent too i mean they're all about like merging and um intimacy and you know being with people that understand them and that celebrate them and that want to share and be honest but they're also very much leaders and they're very focused on truth and expansion and uh, growth and transformation in life so where inside of you does there need to be some truth revealed in order to expand and and go forward and maybe travel is something that is in the cards for you. Maybe there is somewhere that you've always wanted to live, but you kind of told yourself, oh, no, it's just a dream. Maybe you need to go do that. Maybe you need to go on a journey. Also, camels are journey uh, animals that take you on journeys or travel, right? So don't be afraid to just be yourself and to... Also, Scorpio is all about change, right? Like, you can make the change. And if you make that change to your foundation, to your home, if you make that change to your home, you will um, find abundance and find happiness and find expansion, spiritual fulfillment. But also Jupiter could be about traveling too. It's like going outside of what um, is normal. It's like something new and exciting, right? So don't be afraid to do something new and exciting. Take a chance. There's a lot of chance cards here. And I hope that resonated and I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, group number four, if you chose the jack-o'-lantern, silver, and the black tourmaline, then this is your reading all about facing your fears. Now, when I was shuffling the cards, I actually felt like you are someone who's faced a lot of your fears in life and that you're kind of excited to see what comes up in this reading. And yeah, that you've, you've done a lot of shadow work especially with the black tourmaline, you've had to set a lot of boundaries. You've had to protect yourself a lot. You've been through a lot. Your life hasn't been easy. Um, and it's kind of like, this is just part of your life now is like, you recognize this is part of your journey is fears coming up, facing your fears and how we're going to get through it. So <laughs> that's kind of interesting. And I'm actually proud of you. So you should be proud of yourself too, because facing your fears is not easy. We're going to start with a uh, archetype card here to see where we're at right now when it comes to our fears the weaver okay rediscovery transition interesting it seems like it kind of resonates with what I just said with this is something that you've kind of been already going through that you're aware of that you've been facing so you're kind of like okay god like where where do I go let me um rediscover why I'm here what my purpose is and every time we face a fear it's like a it's a time of a transition moving forward um, a time of change a time when things slowly start to to change or to move in 
the, a new direction or when you slowly, slowly start to change and move into the next direction because you're letting go of old wounds or defeats or fears or things that are holding you back. So it's kind of like you're weaving a web, but also in a way where you're like kind of letting God kind of show you where to go. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords reversed. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. And we have the Lovers. Okay. So, with the Two of Swords reversed, I feel like, again, reiterating what I said before, you kind of are... You've been an observer and you have been kind of going through it in life I feel like you struggled a lot earlier on in, in your life and that you've had a lot of anxiety and a lot of fears and a lot of like scary things coming to the surface because you are probably somebody who is either like intuitive psychic or like just very emotional and empathetic um and it caused you a lot of pain but right now it's like you kind of learned or you're kind of at a place where you know how to deal with it because you've been facing your fears. It's like you accepted the challenge. You accepted God's call. You finally surrendered and you're like, okay, what do I do? Where do I go? Right? Which has brought you a sense of grounding, which you could also be afraid of not having. Or that could have been one of your fears was not being grounded or not finding stability or not finding the person that you're supposed to be with. Right? Right? With the Ace of Pentacles reverse, I feel like there's a lot of repetitions with things. And that's probably another reason why maybe you're like kind of used to this, kind of used to facing your fears. Because when it comes to our fears, it, just because we face them, it doesn't automatically make them go away. When, like if you face them once, like we're given opportunities in our lives to face something more than once. To, to learn something or to solidify like that lesson that we learned. Like did you really learn that? Because this might come back and and hold you back or come back and you know steer you uh off your path right or or to yeah like create blockages or to hold you back so with the ace of pentacles reverse i just feel like you've been given the opportunity to face your fears multiple times and um it kind of cycles on repeat a little bit um because i don't know they're karmic they're wounds they become habits um it's something like i said you dealt with a lot in your past so it's like you've been conquering it now it could be to this is this car this spread is kind of interesting <laughs> in a way where it's like i feel like i'm reading that you've already faced a lot of your fears and this is kind of what's coming to you so or what you have now which is like a strong or strong healthy relationships or a strong relationship or like you're with the person that you want to be with because you face your fears and before that or if you're not there yet it's like you're afraid that whatever you've been through in your past and whatever this karmic thing that keeps coming up is like you're not going to have that strong partner you're not going to have that stability you're not going to have like the love that you want in your life you might feel like your love life is a little cursed so maybe you've been through um multiple difficult relationships which brought up a lot of like what your wounds and your fears are so we're going to keep going and i'm going to see what's kind of going on here so coming out of this um and where we're headed is the spy master interesting knowledge and distrust hmm okay so again yeah it could be knowing how to move forward in relationships because you've been either cheated on or um, lied to or just like abused or just not treated properly in life and you kind of went through that to the point where it broke you down so much that you actually turned to God and asked God for direction for help to show you like where to go to rediscover like why am I here why am I experiencing and experiencing this and you gain knowledge from it through through the distrust that you've experienced in your life and also remembering too to like hold yourself 
close and not fully trusting everybody right away because that's something that could have brought you like the anxiety in the past or brought you the pain in the past or brought you the instability in the past is that you trusted trusted too soon uh, because you're a lover you're a romantic person and um, you have a big heart I feel like you've learned a lot from this already you might be an older person or just like a really old soul I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons through trial and error relationships and it's been hard but it's kind of like okay here we go like I get it this is what's happening and you're either going to be with the person that you deserve after going through all of this or you are with that person that you deserve after going through all of this so I can kind of see like somebody talking to a younger person like an older woman talking to a younger woman and saying like this isn't forever you you know there's many opportunities in life there's many fish in the sea you're going to have experiences and have relationships with people and they're not all going to be like perfect and they're not like nothing no relationship is perfect obviously and um they might not all work out but they're all experiences and it's like the older women encouraging the younger women to um uh, have gratitude for and take the good things from each relationship even if they were hard and even if they hurt there's still good things in every relationship you know like love feels good and everybody has good qualities even if they're not fully you know if, if they're what am I trying to say even if things didn't work out and maybe someone was more abusive or whatever like everybody still has good qualities so it's like you could be appreciative of like the good memories that you have and grateful with the good memories that you have with that person and not to dwell on all the things that were hurtful so take what counts and move move forward and that's what you're going to look back on. Like when you're when you're older and you've been through it so many times and you start to start choosing yourself, you can look back on what was good in these relationships. I'm not quite there yet in my life, but that's just how what I'm feeling from it's like a uh not I mean, yeah, just somebody who's been through a lot, somebody who's more mature in life. Um yeah. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so we have the mirror again. Because the last group brought the mirror. It's like many series of, again, going through these relationships to see see your truth, to see who you are. It's like all these things that you were afraid of, all of these wounds that you had in all these relationships, it was like they were actually mirror images of either what you experienced in your parental relationships or like what your parents experienced or yeah like what your core wounds were were being played out and mirrored back to you through these people and you kind of came to that realization or you're coming soon to that realization and that's a fear that you've faced is like why is this happening to me there it's all about like healing your wounds neptune ghosts okay that's interesting and music okay so neptune is very dreamy very intuitive very psychic like another world it's pisces it's like creativity it's um uh, like la la land it's fantasy it's also illusion too so again going back to it like your fear you could have fear of trusting people now honestly that could be like a new fear that you have um and you might be like very hold yourself close to yourself but I also feel like you you have like an open heart it's kind of contradictory but I feel like you've been through a lot in life that you're just like very dynamic <laughs> and you haven't lost your ability to dream and like I said before with that older woman saying like take the good parts like focus or remember the good parts or be grateful that you had those moments it's like although you've been through so many hard hardships in your life and you've been through a lot and you've been facing your fears since you know you were a kid you still have that childlike wonder you still have that hope you still have that ability to dream right and ghosts it's like that's a fear it's people are afraid of ghosts right it's the spirit world can be scary you like it's it could be a haunting it could be you going through a haunting it could be past relationships haunting you but I feel like this is also yeah like maturity but also like lessons like 
coming back to repeat themselves over and over and over again that you kind of like just become a master at it um, because ghosts are um, for the most part ghosts are spirits that are closer to our plane and they're kind of stuck here so it's like if you're not facing the fears that keep coming up and up and up and up uh, over and over and over again um, you are stuck you, you remain stuck because you're not choosing to move forward you're not choosing to face but I feel like you have like I feel like this is a group that's conquered a lot of their fears and even if you feel like you're, you haven't conquered your fears or you haven't like succeeded there will be another opportunity like this is what I'm saying it's like there will be another opportunity for you to face the fears again and to prove to yourself like that you're doing the right thing with music I honestly just see that as like therapeutic and you know like the Neptune the ghost and the music kind of all go together for me so you could have something in Pisces or your Neptune might be like in a really prominent place in your in your chart but the music is kind of just like to me showing up as like therapy or something harmonious and like you again taking responsibility for facing your fears or facing your fears taking that responsibility taking that initiative and instead of holding on to the fear and not getting through it it's like you replaced it with something therapeutic for yourself which was maybe even actually going to therapy maybe music has been therapy maybe you're a musician and that's helped you with you know your mental health and um getting through like the really tough times in life but yeah like the music to me is just like therapy and still again having like a playful hopeful energy even though life has been a series of facing fears <laughs> Wow. Okay. So we have this whole connection. So all of this, all of this. Okay. So then we have the eight too. Um, we have the six over here, which is also about relationships. The six is about, I mean, the eight is about relationships emerging and like infinite possibilities. And it's also the number of Scorpio. And we have the twin crystal, which is all about, you know, again, merging. And we have the lover's card. So all of this, all of these experiences these negative experiences that you've had with relationships was to get to the truth of who you are who where your heart is and how to finally find facing the fears and getting through the wounds to find your true person your your right person but also holding that connection and can um in friendships too so this, I feel like this whole journey of facing your fears has been about learning about who you really are and what love really is and what love means to you and how to really connect with other people and to allow that love into your life. Maybe you were neglected by one of your parents when you were a child. Maybe you were abandoned or yeah, maybe you were afraid that you never would have that stability with somebody who could make you feel safe. So it was like, you had you took the initiative to face your fears and you found that stability within yourself and then that opened the doors to creating a solid foundation with somebody new and if none of this has happened yet this is where you're going to get to by facing your fears by going through the hardships in these relationships so a lot of your fears and a lot of your lessons in life stem or come from learning within relationships learning from the people you love learning from the people who love you okay <laughs> a lot of people have been getting the message to share your voice i honestly i keep going back to like i feel like you guys are like pretty grounded right now i feel like you guys are on the path on the correct path you've accepted the path and it says come out of the cave persecution expression so you've been persecuted for sharing your voice in the past, for sharing how you feel, for not getting treated properly, and for feeling abandoned because the people who are supposed to love you didn't actually understand you and didn't take the time to care about your feelings or to respect your feelings. And so you didn't back down from that. You're like, I'm here and I need to be heard and this is me and I deserve love. And you're at a point where it's like, yeah, I deserve love and I'm going to keep sharing my voice. So this is like a confirmation to keep sharing how you feel 
to keep doing what you're doing. And we have a spirit animal, totem animal, power animal. The medicine of this animal will help you forward in conquering your fears. The oyster. Okay, this is so interesting. <laughs> to me, oysters are, well, they're aphrodisiacs. So this is all about tapping into your sexual intuitive nature your sexual energy and having confidence i feel like you are a confident person like i feel like when you saw the jack-o-lantern and the black tourmaline you're like oh yeah that's me let's have some fun with this um this isn't new to you like facing the fears like i said before isn't new to you and stepping into who your your true power and sharing your voice and like really feeling into like all the pain in life and allowing God to guide you ha um, has brought you a new sense of self and confidence and has actually attracted like the proper lover into your life, right? So this is about being fun. This is about being confident. This is about being sexy, I think, and just feeling yourself. So... Now I'm going to roll some dice, astro dice, and like where will facing your fears take you during the Scorpio season? So we have Jupiter and Libra in the second house. So relationships, the expansion of relationships by and speaking your truth. In relationships will bring groundedness so having faith in your relationships having faith in future relationships will bring stability will bring a trustful lover will bring trustful people into your life and you will get that stability that you were afraid that you weren't going to have you will gain that trust that you were afraid that you would never find you yeah so, and also the second house and uh, Libra are very much associated with Venus. So there is a lot of love um, coming to you or in your life or surrounding you right now. And I feel like you are on the right path. And I hope this resonated with you. If it did, let me know. I uh, love you guys. See you in the next one.